Thank you, Vian Band. Uh, this is our this is your two band directors, Baxmy and Briggs, coming at you from our respective homes. Uh, we just wanted to send you guys a message and let you know that we miss you and we hope you're doing well. Um, it's it's been you know it's been a little weird. It's been very weird not getting to see your shining faces every day, and we we do miss you and we're thinking about you a lot. So we just wanted to send a message to check in and uh, work through this transition, uh, starting with next week's e-learning. Oh, hi, GBN band. Didn't see you walk in. Oh, my gosh. Everybody, we miss you good people so, so much. Um, yeah, you know, when we saw this coming, uh, it was weird. It was, it, was, it was a weird thing anticipating that maybe we'd be stepping away from school for a while and what would that look like? And if you feel a little bit anxious in how everything's going down, that's totally fine and you're not alone. This is weird. We've never been through anything like this before. But I guess the cool thing is, is that uh, we get to do it together. You're not alone. And so talk to us. I, I got a couple emails from a couple people today. I think Mrs. Baxmeyer did too. Mm -hmm. And we love hearing from you. And we, uh, because we do miss you. You were part of our every day. And to not have you part of our every day anymore and, and someone suddenly uh, is rough. So we look forward to... Uh, finding lots of different ways to interact with you and make as meaningful an experience these next couple weeks that we are away from each other as possible. Please know that no matter what, in the worst case scenario, let's say they cancel school for the rest of the school year, and we, and we just don't know what that looks like right now, we that it won't be that's the end, right? We're going to have something over the summertime. We will plan ways for us to, for seniors, for us to celebrate the wonderful things you did. So, so even if things in the next few weeks unfold in a way that makes us realize that maybe this is not going to happen how we'd like, please don't fear. Please understand uh, that, that we have some ideas that are going to make it as not what it could have been, but something that's hopefully really good uh, and sort of the best case scenario out of a worst case. Anyway, uh, we just want to talk real briefly about what we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's sort of a two-pronged approach. I'm going to talk about prong one. And that is we're going to take an opportunity to do a lot of different listening activities. These listening activities will be generated by us, but then we're also going to give a chance for you to generate some of what we listen to. There's going to be an opportunity in coming weeks where we're going to highlight different students' favorite songs. And we're going to put a focus on band music, orchestra music, pop music, essentially what brings you joy. Uh, these are some crazy times, and we have to remember that at the end of the day, what makes music so special is that it brings a release, a connection, a, a special relationship, and we're going to be able to facilitate ways to share that with one another. So it should be a, a really cool thing, but more details on that to come, uh, but that's one of the facets, one of the ways that we're going to be engaging with one another, and you're going to be able to uh, help us even plan maybe for what we play next school year. Mrs. Baxmeyer, over to you. So the second half of what we're doing is uh, playing um, because of band and to supplement what we do with listening and thinking about how we approach music on an instrument, uh, we're going to have you guys um, playing selections from your concert band literature as it stands. So we're not going to have the entire band play the same section. Instead, we're going to do more of like a highlight reel for your instrument. So you can think about the melodic phrase when you do have the melody instead of playing, you know, something more, maybe more rhythmic, maybe more background. Um, so this will give you a chance to focus on tone and musicality and phrasing and, you know, shaping the line and shaping the idea and really making it yours. So the two are going to work uh, really nicely together. We're really excited to pilot this and we're excited to have you guys um, on the other end and listen to uh, what you come up with. So we know that right now um, we're out for you know a little bit of time and we're playing it by ear as well. But we do know that our plan is for as long as we're out, we will have more video check-ins because we want to say hi to you guys and we want to you know make sure y'all are doing all right. Um, so we're looking forward to you know having more of these opportunities to chat. And Mr. Briggs, do you want to talk about the group opportunity? Absolutely, yeah. We uh, there's some really cool options uh, or ideas that we have to actually meet together and digitally in a digital space so that we can feel like a community again. Now, with you know some of our larger groups having 40 to 50 people on them, it can get a little noisy. But uh, there's going to be some times where we can meet digitally coming um, in the future. Uh, stay tuned for those. If you have ideas, please let us know. 
Uh, and I guess above all else, just remember that uh, we're still together. If not in a, the same physical location, we're going to make it to where you get sick of seeing our faces every day. Anyway. <laughs> so, so don't worry about that. So I'm going to bid you farewell before I throw it off to Mrs. Baxmeyer to do the same. But it's just a sort of see you see in a couple days kind of thing. I, I miss you. And uh, you all mean the world to me. And we can't wait to see you again next week uh, digitally. And we can't wait to see you in person in a couple more weeks after that. Mrs. Baxmeyer. Yeah, Band, I totally echo what Mr. Briggs has to say. Um, I, I miss getting to get to school um, right before 7, start our day off with jazz, and you get to spend the entire day making music with you guys. Um, it's been pretty quiet at the Baxmeyer household, so we're, we're really looking forward to touching base with you guys again and getting to chat with you and see how you've been and be there for you and reestablish our community and our band because, guys, that's what, what, that's what we're all about. So please stay safe, take care of yourselves, find things that bring you joy, find things that um, you, you can take happiness in, um, in, this, in this time of insanity. So take care, guys, and we're looking forward to talking with you guys next week. Ms. Baxmeyer, yes, all those are good things, but you forgot one important thing, and that is TikTok dance videos. And, TikTok I mean, dance. So it's like it's all that stuff. And TikTok dance videos. So th those those two <laughs> things. So anyway, uh, maybe coming to a screen near you. I don't maybe know. Maybe we'll see. Not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> bye, everybody. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>